Hello everybody and welcome once again to CJ Cloud's Vape Review. For today's episode I will be reviewing the Obese Buddha 36mm RDA brought to you by Vapors Cloud. Um, for starters, this is definitely a Cloud Chaser RDA. It is set up with Cloud Chasers in mind, which is what most VC products are. The Obese Buddha has a triple bridge style build deck which leaves infinite possibilities for build ideas. Basically if you can think of a wire, chances are you can probably fit it in here. Um, as you've seen from the build there, I'm just running straight 24 gauge canthal around a 3.5. I believe 12 wraps but it you can run Clapton's you can run twisted wire you can run pretty much if you can fit in underneath them bridges it'll run it it's basically like the goon but twice as big um, another pretty good feature is all that airflow on both sides uh, granted, you're not, probably not going to want to ride run it wide open, excuse me, because that's a little bit too much air, and a little bit too much air will mess with the production a little bit. Um, I'm going to blow a quick uh, test cloud so that I can show you guys how badass this thing can be. Let's burn. As you can see, it chucked. <laughs> um, that was at about a 30% duty cycle on a 4S LiPo box with a 14.8 volt, 100, er, 1400 mAh battery. So it's it definitely puts out for its size, which with a lot of bigger ones. You can run into a little bit of trouble with ones this size because you know usually there's a little bit of an air airflow problem and you can't necessarily get air to all the coils because of the cotton and all that jazz. But um, it's definitely nice. I like the extra deep juice well, which I believe is ten able to fit 10 milliliters of juice which is also a perk for cloud chasers because there's a lot less likely of a chance that you'll have a dry hit which is something that curses cloud chasers to no end believe me I've been there um, in summary I definitely give the obese Buddha a 9.5 out of 10 one of the drawbacks that I do see to the obese Buddha is the o-rings are a little bit tight which to some might not be a problem but as you can see I've already torn up the bottom one and I'm in the process of tearing up the top one so again not a real big problem because if you have a lot of RDAs obviously you have a lot of o-rings and these also come up with backup o-rings so you don't have to steal them off of your other equipment um, another thing that goes off of the tight o-rings is the top is not the easiest to get off because of the tight o-rings but if you just put a little bit of juice on them and work it around that should lube it up enough that it'll slide around to where you want it to be and it won't be so hard to wrench it around. Um, that is all that I have to say about the Obese Buddha for now. Thank you for watching and as always I will be leaving a link to Kasa down in the descriptions. Please if you would sign up it takes 
no more than two minutes to do so and you won't have to deal with a whole bunch of spam or anything from them it's just something to help keep the vape industry the way it is and potentially if we keep the fight up it will go back to its former glory that it was before August 8th of this year so once again thank you for watching and I'll see all you guys in the next episode